some eight main properties we have. Eight main fluid properties we have. Those are density or mass density. So already we know the density. Density means it is mass per unit volume. Mass of fluid per unit volume of fluid. This is called mass density. Okay, mass density of a fluid. So it is the representation. The symbol of the density is rho. Mass density of the fluid is rho. Here are the units is. What are the units for mass we have? Okay. Kg. For volume units is meter. So the units of density is kg per meter. This is the mass density. This is one property of a fluid. Second one is weight density. So here the weight density is represented with small w. So here the weight density is defined as the ratio of weight of fluid divided by volume, unit volume of fluid. So that is weight of fluid divided by unit volume of fluid. Unit volume of fluid. So here, what is the relation between mass and weight? So already in yesterday class we have discussed that one. So 1 kg of mass is equal to 9.81 newtons weight. So this is the relation here we are finding. So that is weight density W represent weight divided by unit volume. So here I will write this weight in this way. 9.81. So that 9.81 is represented with G. Acceleration due to gravity. G into mass of fluid divided by unit volume. Okay. Unit volume. Is it okay? G into mass. This is the weight. So what about this one? Mass in mass divided by unit volume. That is mass density. So here I am represented weight density is equal to G into rho. That is weight density is equal to G into rho. This is about weight density. And another, this is the second property. And another property is specific gravity. Specific gravity is denoted by the symbol capital S. So here the specific gravity is defined as it is the ratio of weight density of a fluid divided by weight density of a standard fluid. Here what do you mean by this standard fluid? Generally the standard fluid means if we have considered liquid as the fluid at the condition water as the standard fluid. Water as the standard fluid. If it is A at the condition, gases means at the condition, if these are gases at the condition A, atmospheric A as the standard fluid. So here this is standard fluid having some constant weight density values. Weight density of water that is 9810 kg per meter. So here in problems they are not mentioned this weight density of standard fluid. They are mentioned only, they are not mentioned any value. According to our requirement, we are considered these values. So this is where uh, specific gravity is equal to weight density of fluid divided by weight density of standard fluid. That is water. Weight density of standard fluid. This is one way to represent the uh, specific gravity. Another way is mass density of fluid divided by mass density of standard fluid. So here, mass density of a fluid, mass density represents 
with rho. Mass density of a fluid divided by mass density of a standard fluid. Here standard fluid is water. Is equal weight density of a fluid divided by weight density of a standard fluid. That is water. So here represent with double. Water represents with double. So here what is the relation between weight density and mass density? G into rho. G into rho. So that is G into rho of fluid divided by G into rho of water. So G G cancel. Rho of fluid divided by rho of water is equal to rho of fluid divided by rho of water. Here these are represented with capital S this value and it is a dimensionless quantity. There is no dimension. Because here kc per meter cube, here it is kc per meter cube. Both are cancel. This is about specific gravity. And another, this is the third one. And the fourth one is specific volume. Specific volume. So here the specific volume is represented. It is, it is the ratio of unit mass divided by unit volume it is defined as specific volume is defined as it is the ratio of unit mass divided by unit it is defined as unit volume divided by unit mass it is completely opposite to the density of the fluid that is it unit volume divided by unit mass that is called specific volume ok see here here another way of representation of this specific volume is it is just like this 1 by rho is it a 1 by rho what are the units for rho? kz per meter cube it is in third position, it goes to the first position. Later Q part, K. This is called specific volume. This is the fourth property of a fluid. And another one is the fifth property is viscosity. Viscosity of a fluid. So it is very very important one. Already people do some experiments on this viscosity in fluids. That is the chemistry lab, I think so. In chemistry lab, they will give some uh, some oil. They ask to find out the viscosity of this oil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know that one. What represent this viscosity? What is the purpose of this viscosity? The main purpose of this viscosity is how the fluid flow across. Yes, sir. No? This property mainly how the fluid flow occurs. If the viscosity is less, the flow of fluid is high. If the viscosity is high, the flow of fluid is low. So this is about this one. Here how this viscosity we, we will use as a property all those things we are discussed later. 